All right, you guys, so I just got up and I wanna show you my little morning ritual here before I actually eat. So I got up, I went for a little coffee walk. Uh, my neighborhood is really quiet and really calm. And I usually use that as time to go through my goals in my head in the morning. And then I sit right here, typically with a bowl of oatmeal, but I wanna show you what I do first or at the same time. So I come on over to here, right? A little mini kitchen table. And I sit down in front of this window and I forgot my cup of coffee, which is maybe a couple times a week for me, not something I do daily, it bothers my stomach a lot. And then basically I just sit down and I go through my goals. This is the simplest, most effective way to quote manifesting. Every day, just look at a list of what you want, okay? So every year I write down what I want and I keep writing it down until I make it happen. On the back, it says, inspired or aligns daily rituals. In other words, what are the habits I have to do today that can make that happen? So for example, one that's a little bit, a little bit longer term is move to a new living space and office, right? And then I have this little thing I've printed out. It's sort of a little, uh, some images that inspire me, some offices that inspire me, you know, a list of the things that I want, the qualities that I want. And I just sit here, hang out for a few minutes, review the goals, remind myself of what I have to do every single day. All right, you guys, meal number one, breakfast. My breakfast tends to be pretty simple. Uh, most days I end up cooking it and I tend to stick with basically salty or savory. And if I'm craving more salty, usually what I'm doing is eggs on toast. But when I get to a more savory phase where I need something that's more grain based, I tend to go with oatmeal. So this is just Oatmeal, local berries from the farmer's market, cinnamon, a little bit of salt, and some local honey I also got from the farmer's market. For me, the philosophy for breakfast is, and really all my meals, is eat similar to the Mediterranean diet, right? So the Mediterranean diet usually is shown to have both in populations that live a long time, the best results for longevity, as well as even in clinical research, people tend to have greater cancer emission, right? So lower rates of cancer recurrence, on Mediterranean diets. So it's one of the most clinically studied, but basically it's more grains than you'd expect, a little bit lower protein and a large diversity of foods. And also coffee and red wine. All right, guys, I wanna show you my lunch now. So it depends on the day, but my favorite spot to order out if I'm too busy working or in the office is a spot called Sweet Green here in LA. And the reason I love it is that it's basically the closest to a home-cooked Mediterranean meal that you could find. So this one is a pesto chicken plate. I want to show you here. They buried my pesto, these fools. All right, so I want to show you why this is the foundation of my eating for energy plan. So basically, the base is Mediterranean, meaning it's about 50% carbs, right? Sweet potatoes, breadcrumbs, there's some quinoa, um, the bed of spinach. So it's a decent amount of carbs, decent amount of carbs from vegetables, a lot of broccoli, there's tomatoes, and then you have blackened chicken and you have some regular chicken there. And then you have this pesto sauce and hot sauce. Pesto is actually my favorite meal, honestly, my favorite taste. So the point of this is that you know, for me, Mediterranean meals, number one, are balanced. So you have protein, carbs, and fats in all of them. They're filling because it's a lot of whole foods. So you stay fuller longer and there's a lot of fiber. So you're not eating massive amounts of food and then feeling sluggish or, you know, constipated and corked up. So for me, I tend to always look for balanced meals, right? You can see there's carbs, veggies, protein in every one. And I try to make sure actually all three macros are in every meal that I eat. I try to make sure at least one cup of cooked vegetables. I tend not to do very well with too many raw veggies, but this tends to be my my lunch sort of meal. And I try to cook this way too when uh, on the days that I cook. But in general, the gist is eat Mediterranean and focus on the whole foods. All right, so now we're home. Basically do my meal prep every week and uh, I'm gonna walk you guys through what that looks like in particular. So just the other day, I finished preparing a couple of these meals and I just basically cook it all in bulk at once. And sometimes I do that for the first, you know, three, four days of the week. And sometimes I do that a little bit longer. It depends on what's going on. If I work really late or, 
you know, if I'm seeing patients, for example, then uh, just everything goes really, really late and I don't really want to cook at eight o'clock at night, so I'll go out. But I'll show you what it looks like here and I'll, we'll talk about, you know, my overall strategy because you guys follow me, you know, the whole point of what I do is being deliberate about your life. That is the strategy for high performance. So I basically am going to show you a couple of these meals that I prepped here, right? So really, really simple. My strategy is eat mostly Mediterranean, all right? These last two are looking a little anemic. I ran out of vegetables, but you get the point. So I tend to cook mostly Mediterranean, which means that I have all three macronutrients, right? Protein, fats, carbs. Typically I'll do rice as my main starch because it tends to cause me the least digestive upset. I tend to do about four ounces of protein, beef, chicken, fish, uh, and then sauteed vegetables. And then I like to throw in some little other things just for more variety. I like fermented foods because I have a lot of GI problems. Uh, olives, just because I'm a salt fiend. And otherwise, I drizzle almost everything with either olive oil or balsamic. But the general strategy is health, number one. Because for me, high energy is the essence of high performance. And if you're not feeling well, or a lot of the times, if you're eating for performance, right, if you're eating in a way to look good, sometimes that means a lot of women I see are exhausted or cranky because they're not eating enough food or they're not eating any carbs. And a lot of guys that wanna bulk up, they're eating garbage. And so they're overeating and they're sluggish and tired or they're not sleeping well. So for me, number one, it's about health first. But the general strategy is having a system and being deliberate, right? For me, like you've seen my other videos, I try to always have a day in the week where I put something on the calendar so I know this is when I have to do the meals. So it's not accidental, there's never a time where I forget or I didn't plan. It's on the calendar, like going to work is on my calendar. And then that time, I'll prepare all those meals while I'm doing miscellaneous stuff around my apartment. But the big picture is that the way I plan my day for food is the way I plan my life, which is that I have a strategy. So in the same way, if you wanna find love or you wanna write a book or you wanna start a YouTube channel or a business, have a strategy and then figure out in terms of daily habits and rituals, what is the daily habit that is most likely to make you succeed and reach that goal. If you think about your daily habits instead of goals, it's way easier to achieve the goals and dreams that you want. So that is what I eat in a day and what I recommend eating in a day. I have other related videos on this exact topic and I also have a goal setting worksheet down below this video, you guys, that will help you strategically figure out what is my dream life? What's my perfect year? What do I have to do right now to make that happen? So check them out.